So these are the instructions for the assembly of Auntie Florence's pretty handbag. So this is the main piece of my bag. There are two of them. I'm just folding down on all the score lines. Now for the side score line, it's a straight line that ends up in a triangle. So I'm just going to fold on that straight line until it reaches the tip of that triangle. And then I'm just going to sort of bring those sides in like so. And I've done that for both pieces. Next, I'm putting glue on the tab that's on the right hand side. And now I'm bringing my second piece over and making sure that the score lines at the bottom match up exactly. But I have my cut edge for that side right against the score line of the tab. And then I'm going to flip my piece. So I'm looking at the inside of my bag. And I'm just folding the side piece over and putting glue on my tab from the score line to the cut edge of my tab. And I just have a piece of scrap paper there so I don't get any glue on the inside of my bag. I'm just going to fold that end over. I'm just making sure that my score lines match up at the bottom and along the edge. So next, I'm going to fold down the two flaps on each side and put glue on both of them. I'm just folding down one of the long flaps. I want to make sure that it's right up against the score line of my side tabs on both sides. And then I'm going to put glue on that remaining flap and then fold it upwards. And I'm just going in there with my bone folder and then spreading all that glue. Next, I'm going to put together the decorative panels for the front and back of my purse and they go together the exact same way. So I have my base layer, which is bigger than my patterned paper layer. And I'm just putting glue on the back of that panel and gluing it so that those little horizontal cutouts on both layers are exactly identical and they have to be stacked up on top of one another. So those little cutouts are for the handles of my bag. So first you have these rectangular pieces, you have four of them, and they have a score line in the center. You want to fold down on that score line. Grab two of those rectangles with the rounded off corners, just glue them one on top of the other with the shiny side facing out. You're going to thread your rectangle through that piece. That's going to be your buckle. And just put a little bit of glue between your two layers towards the bottom and glue them together like so. The end that you've just glued together, you can insert them in the cutouts that are on your decorative panel. I'm just flipping this over and I'm putting a little bit of glue just at the end between this piece and my pink piece and just gluing that into place like so. So I've positioned it so that the lower edge of my little buckle piece is right at the top of the pink piece. And I'm going to do that four times for all four of those cutouts. So once you have your buckles in place, you're going to want to take your handle pieces. You're just going to fold down on the score line at each end. Put your thumb and forefinger at each end and then just bring your thumb together like so. That's just going to ensure that you don't twist your handle and then you want to insert your handle the way that you're holding it like so in both buckles. So the two holes that are on each side will now be stacked on top of one another. You want to put just a little bit of glue on the very end of your handle and then put them back into position so that those two holes are stacked on top of one another again. I'm going to do that on the other side as well. A little bit of glue fold at the score line. Next I have these little tiny brads. I'm just going to insert them in the little holes and open the pins on the, of the brads on the other side like so. I'm just doing that on both sides. If you don't have the brads, if you have some of these decorative half pearls or even a very small button, you could glue it over the cutout and it'll give it a little bit of a different look. So you're going to do the exact same thing with the other side for the handles. So next I'm going to take my handbag base. These little points at both ends coincide with this point here on your handbag. So you're just going to cover this panel right up to that point where your side ends. And then you're just going to place your piece exactly flush with the bottom of your bag. You're going to see a slight little point on each side where it starts curving. 
that's where you want it to meet the size of the foundation of your box. And at the top, you'll see your top matches up at the sides as well. I'm just going to go in there with my bone folder and spread that glue. So I'm just putting glue on one of the trim pieces. I'm positioning it. So the cream color cardstock, I want to see an even border all the way around, like so. And then I have my little metallic circles. And now I'm going to flip my bag around and I'm going to do the exact same thing. These are my purse charms and I've cut the bases of them out of Cricut foil craft board. Since the other side it's not very pretty. I've cut a mirror image of the purse charm and I've glued them together like so. And I'm going to do that with all of the metallic bases. And I'm going to glue the layers on top. It's a relatively small handbag. It measures almost six by almost six and it has a two inch depth. And there you have it, Auntie Florence's pretty handbag.